Hello everybody, Game Guy Woop Woop, and welcome back to the Super Smash Bros. Brawl Tutorials. In this tutorial, I am going to be Captain Almar, who I really like. Uh, so far, ca Whoa! Wow! Well, um, this is the first that I've seen this happen in quite a while. Um, uh, Almar has risen in the tier list. Normally he was... I don't remember? But he's second on the tier list now. Diddy Kong was actually originally second on the tier list, but apparently Almar's second now. I mean, I know we got good attacks, but wow. Well, he has fast and powerful attacks. Um, a very, very good air game. Um, he has a very good air game. And he has pretty good camping. By camping, I mean just basically staying away from the country. Also, the various types of Pikmin he has can make him very unpredictable. For example, his red Pikmin are very good when it comes to attack. Also, they have fire. Um, his blue Pikmin not only have the longest grab range out of any Pikmin draw, but his throws are some of the most powerful, rivaling even Nessie's back throw. Seriously, this, this blue Pikmin throw pretty hard. Like, uh, let me show you. Well, yeah. I mean, it may not look powerful, but trust me, his blue Pikmin throw really hard. And each type of Pikmin has its own advantages and disadvantages, which actually give him an advantage in some matchups. Unfortunately, Almar has a few problems. For one, he's not very fast in the air, because he has a good air game that can assume the limit his advantages. Two, his recovery is really not good. I mean, it's a tethered grab, so somebody's already hanging down the leg, or if it doesn't reach, yeah, not to mention this tether grab depends on how much it has. So, the less quick he has, the shorter is recovery. Not only that, he has slight problems with approaching. Um, he has somewhat good approach, but in some cases they can be a problem. But anyway, Let's get over that and start talking about all of this up. First, we're going to go with the impacts. Here's his neutral head. Just swings his face. Side eye, and he hits you. Down to the... Oh, not side eye. Well, yes, side eye. Tilt to the side. Head. You know what I mean. And down tilt, um, would be like... Inches or five. Uh, we like say that would be useful. Um, his up tilt is actually very good. Very good for starting to come But then we hit with this, we hit with this up, and see how Alamar's walking speed is pretty slow. Uh, anyway, the smash attacks and side smash goes longer. Travels a good distance. This can also be somewhat or this forward area. Okay. 
material. This is for the very powerful. Well, that's about it. Um, special attacks <coughs> with what well, we should. Uh, okay. Neutral B picks up hit man. We need to do that because the only attacks when he doesn't lose is 59. So neutral A, each one of his skills, and his neutral air. You can't just know how long you can make that. Well, some people. Uh, yep. As you can clearly see by different colors of pick Yeah. Okay, okay, let me make sure. Okay, so now I can really kind of pull them off. First, first, attack. Side beat, just throws 50 forward, they latch it, except for the purple ones. The purple ones will just bash inside. Um, up B, which is one of them, that is. Throws out a rope of this purple. Remember, the more pick you have, if the Pikmin can back, the mother people attacks. And this down B, he just calls his Pikmin back to his side. Which can also be used to super armor to absorb the power of attacks. Um, let's see, what else is there? Oh, there's his uh, throws. I should just go over there as well. Uh, as you can clearly see, Alma has exceptionally long grab range. He has the longest grab range in the game, but the most of the blue one being the longest of any one. Alright, it's down to that. Pikmin is just his standard offensive Pikmin. They deal the most damage for all regular attacks. We yeah, have the most damage, not knockback. Knockback goes to the perfect Pikmin. Reds have the second highest knockback. Reds are also immune to fire attacks. They'll just eat it up and go on with their lives. And since a lot of characters can use fire attacks, such as Mario, I, Charizard, and two others, this is very valuable because they're good for most matchups. They deal fire damage, but their attacks you can clearly see. Uh, as you can clearly see. Unfortunately, their downside is water. They die immediately upon landing in swimble water. Well, almost immediately. And actually, they're more likely to appear from certain types of floors. Cloth and sand floors. They're less likely to appear from snow and ice, and they can't be plucked from shallow water at all, seeing that they're red picking. But that's obvious. Um, let's see, next in his lineup are the yellow pick match. They deal average damage. Their basic asset is their range. They have... I... Well, no. The longest range actually goes to the whites, I believe. But, they have bigger hitboxes. When I in terms of range, as you can see, they do electrical damage meaning they're immune to electrical attacks, so they'd be a good matchup for Pikachu. Um, they're easier to space with since they have good range, and Yellow Pikmin travel in like a Well, actually, let me show you. Travel in like a arc. So, yeah. You'll find them more from metallic and sandy forms, and less from snow the blue pick. Probably the most deadly of his arsenal. They have more health than any of the other Pikmin. Oh, second to purpose. And most of their attacks aren't very strong. But they have the longest gap in the game. Whoa, that is long. And as you can clearly see, their grabs are not very strong. Unfortunately, 
unfortunately having a lot of bruises in the back here. Now they are immune to water attacks, but the only person that can use water attacks that deal damage is Squirtle, so yeah. And they can also, they're also immune to drowning. Any Pikmin that's not blue, loves to make more than one second, will die. Red Pikmin died much faster. You're most likely to see these guys from water surfaces, like ice, clouds, and water. And less likely from sand and brick rocks. Uh, let's see who's in this. Oh. The white Pikmin, um, they're the least health and deal very small damage for taxi. It does like a little dark poison. Yeah, yeah, poison. They deal a lot of poison damage when they wrong, which makes them very useful. I think like 30 damage on one throw. Uh, well, somewhere around 30 damage. But yeah, they do a lot of damage. They travel very fast and very far, making them easy to toss into people and off the edge unexpectedly. They appear half as often as the basic three, yellow, red, and blue, but they're more common than both in snow and clouds. And last but certainly not least, is the purple pigment, the rarest of all of them. They appear... Uh, I'm... Uh, I think about 30% of the time, as often as the basic three on most stages, or 40% of the time, don't quote me on that. They're very slow, as you can clearly see by their bulky size. They often lag behind the eye. It's actually kind of falling behind the red. So yeah, they're slow. They make up for this with their strength. They are very powerful. Whoops. That's better. They are the most powerful of this picture when it comes to knockback. And they actually don't go very far when used for a throw or a grab or his smash attacks. They do deal quite some knockback, and second most damage, second to red Pikmin, obviously. They have the most health off any Pikmin, and they have good up and down throws. Unfortunately, well, I guess not unfortunately, in some cases, as I said before, they don't latch on to your opponents when thrown, they just ram into them. Which is actually good if somebody's running it into you. You're going to see purple Pikmin more likely from metal, brick, or great throws. So, that's all of Alomar's Pikmin, and that's Alomar himself. Um, I think I've mentioned, I know I've mentioned this before, Almar is the smallest character in Brawl along with Squirtle, so his small stature along with his excellent hair game and his very good hair. The only things that are keeping him from being even better than he already is is his recovery, and, well, no. I think that's pretty much it. Oh wait, no, there are some approach options, but some people are good with approaching for Almar. His dash attack can be easily be shielded, and his neutral arrow does come with his as well. But still, he's very good. But, whoa! Well, there's a spot that should be shielded. But yeah, Almar's good. Small stack there on Squirtle, good throws, good. Good just good attacks overall. Almar's really good. And he's not that hard to get the hand of either. So, watch this, hope you enjoy. Uh, Oh, that's right, Rob. Uh, an old favorite of mine. So, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.